Welcome everybody to a Get Some Games Let's Play. I am Sean and I am playing WWE 2K16. Um, I'm just starting my career mode right now. I finally created my guy. I wanted to put my face on him, but uploading a picture through their little service right now and getting it on your guy and making it look good is very, very difficult. But they are releasing an app to kind of help you out with that. So I'm just going to wait and make it look more like me when they release the app and I'm going to do it that way but for now I'm just rocking a generic face pretty plain shirt and some gray jeans the hair is pretty close to mine though I don't like to have it that middle parted but whatever not important starting my career right now and I got my very first match tonight against Enzo More it looks like I've got my move set all set up my entrance I got a little bit of backstory that I will reveal throughout the Let's Play. Let's see, this is the match card for the current show you're in. All right, sounds good. So, let's see. I'm actually gonna do some training first. Let's do some training a little bit. I can't just jump in the ring with Enzo Amore and think I'm gonna dominate him without any training at all. Or I'm just going to be training with Enzo himself. All right. So today you'll be training with Enzo Amore. He's going to help you learn a few things. Get in there and we'll get started. All right. Jason Albert's going to be training me, it looks like. This is pretty sweet. I heard this is way better than last year's career mode, which I got bored with very quickly. Oh, so this is bait. Okay, so this is just going to be a tutorial. Let's see if I can get a little. Ooh. All right, that's kind of unnecessary in a training exercise, but let's see here. Okay. Oh, my guy's name is Surprise, by the way. Um. I've never really had a nickname, but I had my one of my physical education teachers give me that last semester, and I'm just going to roll with it. So this is Surprise, my guy. All right, so just same stuff that they introduced last year with the train with the chain wrestling. Enzo, not exactly a technical wrestler, but whatever. He's not the first guy I would pick to train with, except he'd be really fun to talk to while we're doing it. Okay, let's start by getting into a grapple position. Then we'll go from there. All right, so I guess I'm just going to go through this tutorial a little bit, and then I'm just going to cut to my, when my first match starts because nobody just wants to watch training. All right, so I finished the training. Got some SP for that, whatever that stands for. I don't remember. Superstar points, star points. All right, so I guess it wasn't actually a match with Enzo, but just training was my little daily thing. So let's see. So now it says, it says I've got a match against Tyler Breeze. So let's see if this is actually gonna be a match or a training exercise, and it looks like it is going to be a match. So, surprises NXT, NXT debut against Mr. Tyler Breeze, the king of Cuteville, which is a very unfortunate nickname, I gotta say. Or, it looks like we're training again, all right. Fantastic. All right, I wanna see what you could do in a real match. I'm pairing you up with Tyler Breeze. He's a former number one contender for the NXT title. If you get past him, we'll be sure to debut you at NXT in the near future. All right, here we go. Mr. Breeze is going down. I love how they have him start on the top ropes like that, laying across them. Those great little details are always just so cool to see in these WWE games. 
right, telling you how entertaining my match is. Gotta make it a five star rating. So I actually have to be conscious of putting on a good match and not just dominate everybody. This isn't a fighting game, this is a WWE simulation game. Which is a direction I'm actually really glad they moved in since the, making the switch to current generation. Uh, a little bit of backstory for my guy. Nothing too crazy well thought out yet, but I definitely got some training and kind of started out under Seth Rollins, who I know is a, still really young, but he's got my favorite finisher of all time, maybe of all time, at least right now, the Curb Stomp, which isn't even his finisher anymore because WWE and their lame policies, thinking kids are going to be going and Curb Stomping each other. But... And the new curb stomp animation is awesome. The one with the bounce off the ropes and all that good stuff. So, um, now that Seth isn't allowed to use the curb stomp anymore, he has so generously handed it off to me. And for one reason or another, I'm going to just rebel and use the curb stomp as my finisher. Um, one of my signature moves is the Get Some Guillotine, which is basically just a, a leg... Oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's like the leg scissor DDT thing Two. where I just slam their face into the mad DDT style, but do, a, do it with my legs instead of a traditional DDT. And there it is. I forgot I set that as one of my strong grapples, but <laughs> it's also my signature move, so I'm going to have to just go and fix that after this match. But there it was, at least, while I was trying to explain it. My guy kind of sucks right now, since obviously I just started and I only got a 60 overall. I can't do anything too cool yet. Fortunately, all my moves and everything in my normal move set weren't locked. I was able to choose from anything I wanted. But in terms of like springboards or OMG moves, I can't really do much. Looks like I only have two reversals, which is another one of my favorite new features of this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the new reversal system. It makes it way more or way less of a just a reversal spam fest. And a lot, lot, lot more. I love that wrestlers with better skill have more have more reversals to work with, and it's just like a really well thought out system. You can abuse it online by just stomping the hell out of everybody, which is stupid, but nobody plays these games correctly online anyway, so it's just, if you're buying these games to play online, you're just really not going to have a good time. Oh, and in, uh, being able to reverse moves mid-move for a lot of moves, that's always been, I thought that was a really good idea. Get away here. Alright. It's really difficult though because the reversal window is really, really small. You have to pretty much know it's coming, which is another great thing that they made sure of. Um, if they start a move that has the mid reversal, the new um, advanced reversal system in it, the first R2 that pops up will be green. And if you miss that one, um, because, like, if you were trying to save your reversal, it'll let you know, like, hey, you're going to be able to do an advanced reversal in a sec, and then you have to be looking out for it, and then for, like, just a quarter of a second, you've got that window to reverse it and really change the, the tide of the match. And I think that was a great, great, great design choice here. And the end is near for Mr. Breeze, hopefully. Let's see. I already hit him with the get some guillotine. So let's mix it up a little bit. And then with the Canadian Destroyer. Oh my god, that move is beautiful. I wish they could do it in WWE. One, two. Please kick out. There you go. Oh, and I, just all the new animations and the fluidness of everything. Um, how if you hit somebody with your finisher and they kick out, your guy it goes to has like a cool camera cut and shows them just they just can't believe it. All those little things like 
there's some glitches and I know people have found some issues, but I think 2K every year so far since getting it, they've just knocked it out of the park with this franchise. And I'm so glad that they got it. And it looks like they're putting some love into it. Oops. Didn't want to do the same finish or the same taunt. Looks like that's the only taunt I have. All right. But. Oh. Breeze is finally going to put up a little bit of a fight. I've only got a three star match going so far. Okay, break. There you go. Crawl those ropes. Some nice back and forth. Some move variety. I really like this because besides being able to play as myself and having stories and focusing on just one person, I like that maybe in universe mode or whatever you're trying, whatever, if you're just doing a quick play or anything like that, you're really just playing however you want and maybe just trying to win every match or set up your own storylines that way if you're doing universe mode. But I like how in this the gameplay changes where you really still get to play however you want, but if you really want to get, I'm sure, more SP and put on better matches and get that 5-star rating, then you really have to work a great wrestling match. And that's a great reason to play. Oh, jeez, he's bringing out a baseball bat. I don't know if he's going to get DQ'd, but I'm going to give it a shot. Or I can just swing wildly and miss. Hey, he baited me in with that. Tyler. That's some great heal tactics right there. Ah, oh, man. Fell for it. Match results screen tells you your match rating along with the breakdown of which elements contributed to the rating. Think of it as a detailed version of the match rating display. Well, that sucks. I was going to win for sure. But, still put a three and a half star match. Not great. But I lost. So, I, I don't know what that's going to do for my career. Triple H at WrestleMania 31, where he beat Sting, which was a bunch of BS. I gained a thousand SP though. I really gotta figure out what SP means. All right, so there you go. That was my first match, first little taste of WWE 2K16 my career mode. I'm sure I'm gonna love it so far. Um, come back every whenever I'm going to be uploading these randomly throughout the weeks um, and come back and see the rise and fall of surprise. I'm going to start out as a heel. I mean, I'm going to start out as a face, even though I just hit Tyler Breeze with a baseball bat mid-match so I can have that great, inevitable, possible heel turn at the high point of my career. It's going to be great. So come back here at Get Some Games on follow us at Get Some underscore games on Twitter. And then I'll be live streaming this game as well on Twitch. And that's also get some underscore games. And then, of course, subscribe to us right here on YouTube so it's easy to find since we can't get that custom URL yet. But thank you guys for watching. And until next time, I'm out.